Hey YouTube, welcome to another devlog update. This is number six, I think. This week was another slow week. I got my jab, so I was out of action for a couple of days, but we still got something done. So thanks to Tonino for suggesting this uh, potion. So like last week I said, you know, recommend some potions, some things that we could do in the game, add to the game, and uh, recommended a vampire shield. So we've added a vampire shield. Basically every time the enemy comes along and tries to hit us, if we have this activated we will soak up the hit, but basically won't take any damage, and we receive a health bonus instead. This is a super f powerful potion so I think I'm gonna keep it to a minimal where I place it in the game, but um, yeah, it's pretty fun to use because you're just like soaking up all this damage, getting health instead. And it's cool to diverge a little bit from the tutorial and add our own kind of twist to things. Surprisingly easy to implement as well since we have the system for adding health there already. All we basically did is just not register the hits if we had this potion activated and basically decrease the integer on the uh, Potion. We could basically take a total of three hits before the potion stopped being useful. The Reddit forum has actually caught up to us and they want us to implement a save load system, which is just where I am on the tutorial at the moment. And I tried implementing it and it kind of works. The player disappears when I load the game. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I'm going to sort it out, get it fixed this week and move on. The save system was a little bit tricky. Basically involved, we had to use Serde to serialize and deserialize all of the components. Deserialization doesn't seem to be working properly for me at the moment. I have to figure out where my bug is. Yeah, there's some macros that we basically took from the tutorial to do this for us for all of the components. Yeah, there's a lot of room for things to go wrong here, especially when you're writing to a file. I can imagine if the file gets corrupted or something that, yeah, it's a recipe for di for disaster. So I'd like to implement some, some features to help prevent any sort of corruption or things going wrong at this point. Oh yeah, and we also have a menu. <laughs> what I'd like to do next is maybe decorate the menu a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. We'll see what we can do there. And if you have any more suggestions for potions or things in the game, feel free to suggest it as we develop this out. As we add more things from the from the tutorial, it'll be easier to add our own customization as we go along. Yeah, that's basically it for this week. Tune in again next week. We'll have some more stuff for you. Also, comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. All right, bye.